His eyes go black. Yes. That's cool. Good. Oh. Whoa. I just said good prematurely there. There was this whole thing at the beginning about a wedding and now- Oh, oh! Jesus fucking Christ! Oh! <laughs> Wrong address. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was at one, two, three, nowhere fucking road. I'll say this, the theme does slap. The theme does slap. Chip, yeah. The English translation's kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. I will remember. And get at you. Normally, when it comes to these, like, high fantasy stories that we watch, I'm usually the one who's got, like, the knowledge. You know, like, in Dune, I was the one who read the book. Yeah. You have no knowledge of I Witcher. have nothing about The Witcher. Jake, you've watched the show. Ian's played the games. I've has interacted 0% with The Witcher in my life. At least he has the, um, the <clears throat> necklace. Haven't read the book. The haven't played talisman. the game. Haven't watched the show. I, I'm going, I am flying blind. See, the fact that they're calling him Hexer doesn't make sense because he has the fucking wolf talisman. <laughs> That's like the main thing. It senses the uh, magic and shit. It's going to be a big monster and I'm going to be excited. Which one is it? I hope it looks like a transmorpher. Oh, it's Dune. Oh, the editing is very bad. All right, I lied. <laughs> no, no, Geralt of Ruby is not a Hexer. I'm sorry. I, it, it maybe in the <laughs> translation. <laughs> Oh, I thought the movie's called The Witcher, and they got that right on the title card with the subtitles. They call it Weedsman. And now they're saying Hexer. Haxo? Is that Haxo, a guy? Haxo, leader of the Hexers. So the idea with this movie was to kickstart a TV show. That is the worst thing I've ever heard. Yep. Did it work? Uh, They made season one, which a lot of it used footage from this. What the fuck? So, I don't know. Tego się boisz, pomóż mi! So you're telling me that in Polish, is help. Who's Hexo? Leader of the Hexers. All right. I've watched the show. Ian's played the game. I don't remember Hexo. Do you? <laughs> no. No, no Hexo. Wait, you guys don't remember exists. Hexo? I know Nilfgaard. This man's not nearly as jacked. I know. That's the problem with having. He's not a very muscular man. Does the Witcher's dad also die in a tornado? He is a paid killer. That's his whole thing. Yeah, Witchers are basically mercenaries. But they have a slight moral compass it's, it's people who harm other people or monsters that harm people like bandits and raiders and cannibals. yeah so I, I don't think hedgehog has done anything wrong which is no. why he opposes it this uh, man's gonna stab her why did that dude just approach her and then nothing happened <laughs> like a pedophile was walking right up to her and we just cut away Excuse you. I can't even say he doesn't look like Geralt, because he does. He looks exactly, he looks like a cosplayer of the new Geralt. He was just riding through the field and then hard cut, he's in a bar. Yeah, the pacing is really speed ran. Is he a werehog? He's a werehog. From Sonic Unleashed? Yes. There's no reason to say that you're wrong. Wait, this is just the curse from Shrek. Yeah. No, Ian, yes. I'm, not, I'm not even shitting you. That is the Curse from Shrek storyline. This is in The Witcher <laughs> Season 1. It's weird. They're cutting out all of the monster hunting parts. It's just well, I, He's not a Witcher. He's a Hexer. He's a <laughs> maybe he doesn't do it his job. No, he doesn't. he's not the monster hunter, 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 hunter killer. He's just Hexer. You just sound like you had a stroke. <laughs> I might have. Are the spikes because when he becomes a hedgehog, he has spikes. They got to go somewhere. No, the snout. The snout of that. Okay. But why the, the spikes, spikes are there? aesthetic. Oh. He glued them on like arts and crafts. Man, the Red Wedding is really graphic. Yep. Wow, that guy fell down. No blood. That guy got cut. No blood. The film has been described as essentially the then unreleased television series condensed into a two hour film and received very poor reviews from both fans and critics. Oh, so what you're saying is they shot the show and edited together parts of the show. I'm looking right now. Because if that's the case, that explains why it's so speed ran, because you're condensing several episodes. <laughs> Or he could ask for, like, that cup to his left. He doesn't have to. <laughs> Fun fact. This guy, the Witcher, he's Geralt of Rivia in the Polish dub of the Witcher. <laughs> That's so cool. They brought him back for the show. That's yeah. so funny. That's great. Yeah, to a baby? What else are you going to give birth to? A hedgehog. Fucking cow? <laughs> Toss a coin to so your this is there. Toss a coin to the Witcher. This one's catchy as fuck. Yep. <laughs> this is so unrealistic. He hasn't had to fucking spend 400 coins to improve his gear every three minutes. This is so unrealistic. He hasn't gone hmm or fuck yet. 
That's true. He hasn't grunted. Even in the game, he grunts incessantly. So why hasn't the Witcher actually killed a monster on screen? He just dragged a corpse to the camera and then went, I killed this guy. Because that costs money. But you, it's a Witcher show. Don't you want to show that shit? It's a movie. Yeah. Isn't it a Witcher movie? Don't you want to show it's that shit? It's a Hexer shit? movie. Oh, fuck. Is the Hex? Don't you want to show the Hexer killing people? Niższe te stworzenia, które idą za ludźmi, są agresywne. Oszczędzam te, które unikają kontaktu z człowiekiem. Uciekają. Oni mają prawo żyć. Były tu pierwsze, nie zadowolone. Okay, well, they nailed the characterization of Geralt. He's not doing any investigating at all. He's not. He's having conversation because it's cheap to shoot with all of his buddies and not killing anyone on screen because it's cheaper to shoot. He's very, very intelligent. He's supposed to be, yeah. Like, if he sees a dead animal carcass, he goes, scratches, stomach's gutted, this is out, probably this kind of monster, I should kill it this way. Like, he knows. Mm -hmm. He's intelligent. Like, I complimented how they got the characterization right with, like, the morals and, like, and how he acts, yep. yeah. But like, he's, that's not, not bad. he's not a very good hunter, like, no. in the show. <laughs> Well, it's the not show. even that. He's not even a very good hexer, quote, quote. Quote, quote, yeah. Because does he have uh, the senses in the show? Like, he has uh, the, um... Yes, he has a lot of cool magic shit going yeah. on. How much cool magic shit has he done? None. He hasn't killed no, anyone. No, he did, he did that one magic against Pavetta to stop her. Great. But I think it was Ard. Is that Yennefer? Yes, sir? It looks like it. It could be. Could be a Noifer. It's all... Hey, wait, he's hmm, fucking. Yeah, he's Yay! about to get his hmm fucked. Oh, just half a second of that scene, I guess. Oh my god, they keep cutting away. How much All the interesting stuff is cut out for the show, isn't it? Do you think that they're trying to take the entire season one and just condense it down to two hours? Because that might be what's happening. I think so, and I'm I feel like we're like mad. five episodes into whatever the show is. Okay, maybe this will be an interesting action scene. We haven't really gotten one of those it yet. Cut. Why, why are you climbing down? Just She can just grab the rope. I like the um, soundtrack what? of this movie, though. Bruh, the rope is going down past her. She can just grab onto it. What the fuck is happening? Ah! There was no momentum to him grabbing that Cast rock. the spell, damn it. No, he has a point. You're a fucking sorceress. Ah, the witch's greatest enemy, gravity. This is what I wanted to see him fight. Physics. I mean, dude, this man dies to very small fall damage. You are him. correct. This movie's very boring. Yeah, Mud, I'm curious about your hot take since you have no Witcher connection. So, here's what I've got. I like high fantasy. You know, Lord of the Rings, shit like that. But, well, you know what needs to drag you in? What really needs to grip you? The world. The world of the story. You need to be able to understand what's going on. You yeah, know, we don't get any context here. I have no context for what's going on. I don't know what a hexer is. I don't know who all these people are. I don't know where or when or why things are supposed to be happening. I don't know whose side people are on. I'm just confused, and I'm bored. This um, guy's supposed to be a monster hunter. He's hunted down maybe one and a half things so He far. hasn't actually hunted anything. Yennefer just shows up. He says that he's not a mercenary, but it definitely seems like he is. I think they're fighting a dragon, but I'm not sure who they're fighting against. So, also, you want to talk about Yennefer? Ian and I have been talking about Yennefer this whole time, how developed of a character she is. You know, she has all these interesting plot lines. She in this show, she has showed up, fucked him, and then dangled off a cliff. Uh, they, it, that was a flashback fuck. They haven't even fucked yet. Oh, my like, God. Yeah. Well, that means they have. Yeah. So surprise. she's barely in, like, yeah. But my point is, like, there was this whole thing at the beginning about a wedding, and now... Oh, oh! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh! <laughs> Mud, are you interested now? Yes! No. Nope. <laughs> wow, all right. Wow, all right. it's PS1! All right, I know what I'm giving this movie. Ten. Ten out of ten, baby. Yeah. I now completely understand why he has not hunted anything on screen yet, because that is how it would have to look. Oh, just do, just do practical. Just do, like, puppets. Honestly, but here's the thing, Ian. This might have been the cheaper way to do it. Geralt says he doesn't kill dragons, so why are they fighting a dragon? Like, yeah, he said that canonically. Why don't, he, why don't they try to fight, like, a Leshen or something? You could do that with a costume and a tall dude. Yeah, they did the Hedgehog Man with a costume. That and plot it line fine. happened. It looked okay. Better than this. Everything just happens too fast. I'm not invested. You're so right. I'm Everything's so, so fast. I, I don't want to say that this is going to kill like any enthusiasm I have for The Witcher. I do want to watch the TV show. Yeah, you should I, watch I'm the sure show. I'm sure it's good. I would like to read the books eventually. Um, I'm sure I'll play the video game at some point. But oh. holy shit, this is just... Wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! This man just said you want to buy me like a piece of meat. 
That's his whole thing. That's what I'm saying. He is a hired gun. Not gun. He's a hired sword. Sword, I should say. <laughs> what? Did anyone else see the- It cut. Why did it cut? That was a weird- Whoa! Why did it explode? Is it Green Lantern's dad? It only exploded once, so no. Why is there no soundtrack? With all of this context, with the show's knowledge, with everything else, I don't get how they blew it up. Uh, wait, can we talk about the fact that the dragon exploded? I'm not even mad or anything. I'm just bored and tired. Yeah, it's not offensively the worst thing ever, like Transmorphers or anything, but it's I'm pretty fucking angry. bad. Like, the acting's fine. The costume design's not fine, the... you know? I agree, but it's not engaging at all. I really like this guy. Um, fucking Tom Felton. He had some good scenes when he talked about what he kills and what he doesn't kill. That yeah. was an in that was an interesting scene. Because you can tell he's doing a good job. Yeah. Um, the acting in this film is good. I'm just... This world is nothing to me. Like, I, I don't understand what it is. I you only know? understand because I have prior context. Exactly. Same. I mean, with no prior context. I'm and even then, there. nothing's happening. Let me put it this way to you. They could be like, oh, the elf city. We're going there. And I'm going to be like, I didn't even know there were elves in this world. I don't there know are there elves are. in this world. See what I mean? Subscribe to our channel. What the fuck? That's is really that? funny. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Oh, finally, some war. It's not war. It's just... It's this. just fire over a castle. Very cool. Is that Ron Jeremy? <laughs> that man did... Hmm. Why can't you have Witcher do... Hmm? Yeah, I could turn this movie off right now, and I, I don't feel like... I'd, well, I'd you don't want to see King to... Ron Jeremy talk to fucking Johnny Sins over here? <laughs> I think you just have porn stars on the mind, dude. Yeah, I think you just want to watch porn. <laughs> not not he, Johnny. He specifically Sin. named both of the the male famous porn like stars, the none of the females. When stars. does Mandingo come in? I gotta fucking check. Oh my god, we're not even halfway through. Jesus. Good. Maybe something interesting will fucking happen. All right, you know what'd be cool? If he fights a foglet right here in the fog. Uh, I'd like to see what he's doing, please. He just swings the sword like a mongoloid. Can can we can we see? Is it over? Was that the whole action <sighs> shot? Are you kidding me? All you right, didn't show any of it. Are you, what? D dude, I gave you the benefit of the doubt because you've shown nothing prior of him maybe being a witcher. And he does it partially off screen. See what I mean, though? No context. Like, there was no setup for that scene. He just wandered out into the forest, killed something, came back. Now he's sick. His name is Kevin Spacey. Of Rivia. My eyes could not get any wider than they currently are. Why is he wearing a dress instead of, like, armored pants? You don't need armor. You just need a big cloak. It's true. Stop. Well, it's not like he's fighting, so I guess. Stop. Yeah, but don't you want to be prepared for he's that? He's only on guard duty. It doesn't matter. Castles get sieged. I mean, come on. Don't trash the place. It's empty, and the walls look like shit. What are you talking about trashing the place? you got to rebuild this place. Ugh. Look how nice this looks. They just picked an abandoned church to shoot in. Yeah. And they just put everyone in it. And they're like, this is a sacred temple. I mean, back in the day, they didn't have, like, paint or walls. They had paint? Look, it's painted. <laughs> they didn't have walls, Ian. They didn't have fucking walls. They only had roofs. <laughs> the only roof they floated. <laughs> only a roof and foundation. No, no foundation, just a roof. <laughs> it's a good thing we kept a really long shot of him walking with a fucking <laughs> horse instead of any action. Like, even look at the dragon fight scene. Was there a fight? Because no. it just blew up. <laughs> Nothing happens. And there's no explanation. There's still no explanation for, for anything. that. anything. Is that like the music? Like This is the Halo the theme. And the, the Halo theme in the background, I guess. So yes, it'll be one. I don't know. What have you done? Maybe if you showed us what you did, we'd know. Ah, another character. Thanks. Like, Maybe. at least with Transmorphers, there are stories to make fun of. There are plot lines that we can shit on. But there's no real plot lines in this they're just kind of there's no through narrative there's none they're just borrowing select not even stories but lines of dialogue from the books in the game this see this has happened like three times now where they just cut to him hunting down a monster for no fucking reason and then just move on to a different part of the story that he's not involved in wait so what's the passing of time in this show or this i'm sorry this show this movie it's a show i feel like it's been like seven years oh plavikin thanks in Star Wars, it's like, oh, the Galactic Senate's been disbanded. Well, now we have this giant super laser that will blow up planets, which will keep everyone in line. You know, it's like, okay, that's simple, and I understand what's going on here. Sure, you talk about the Jutland Wastes and all that crap, and I don't know what you're on about. But that's fine, because that's, that's superfluous stuff. It's good to have superfluous stuff. That's world building. But when everything feels superfluous... Mistress. 
Did I go up on you? He was leaving. If you said nothing. <laughs> they do call him the white wolf. They do. They do. I'm glad this has got established an hour and 15 minutes into the movie. He's like, they call me white wolf. No one has this entire movie. Yutro. Look. And Naidali Sir, you can't park here. Well, we overlaid a picture of fire with an image of a castle and they're calling it a war or something. Bitch, yes, you are. Well, he doesn't kill people. Fair, Most but he's time. a paid killer. Most of the time. I mean, it's called the Witcher, not the pacifist. Oh, oh fucking roasted. I like his dialogue. That's the thing, man. Yeah. He is doing good. The dialogue that his character has is good. It's just nothing else is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it shocks me that across the show, this, the game, and all the books, they've all gotten Geralt right. Jake, I'd just like to point out, it's very easy for the books to get him right, since that's the original text. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> that's that's where his character originates it, it's from. Fair, it's weird, because, like, when characters are adapted into, like, three or four types of media, Those usually one of them will fuck it up. Do or you know they're what I mean? different. You know or what they're mean? wildly Sometimes, different. Like Batman. Yeah. Batman is wildly different. His eyes go black. Yes. That's cool. Good. Oh. Whoa. I just said good prematurely there. Does he not do that? I mean, not that I'm aware, no. <laughs> also, not that I'm aware of, to be fair. See, this is a good action scene. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it was a good five seconds. Ard! 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 Do it! Ugh. Wow. Holy 80 cuts. fuck. <laughs> this is their big, like, climactic duel. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but the soundtrack slaps. Sure, it's got good foley and good You got music. the drums and it goes, ah, yeah. That's perfect. If we're going to do a TV show commentary, I would not be mad if that's the first show we did. Fuck yeah. Oh, what's your senses? Why did we cut back to this? Ooh, okay, place your bets. Since this is just footage of and promoting the TV show it was based on, do you think it's going to end with a cliffhanger? Yes. Or do you think it's going to conclude? No. Oh my god, I don't There's like... nothing to conclude. Would love to see what that was. Oh well. That was the first action scene they've showed. The whole movie. I like how they run. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bitch run. <laughs> he stays perfectly still the whole time. Why does she have a gimp mask on? I feel like this film is a black hole where the closer we get to the finale, the longer it takes. Like, every second in this film just feels longer than the last. Oh, he got off-buttoned. <laughs> On-buttoned. Wait, I say. Hold it. What a shipment. <laughs> he just pushed him. He doesn't even have a sword. He's just pushing them. He okay, doesn't have a sword. He punched that one. He's just fighting these men because they all... He has a sword now. Dude, the theme song. I know. Why is Geralt tied up now? Is it flashing forward or back? Why? What? What? What happened between these two scenes? They just established now that he has like the alchemy stuff that he has. He went. There's a green thing. There's a green bottle. Pour me half. It's poison. The it's poison to humans, not to witchers. Hexers. Weedsmen. Weedsmen. I've always wanted a weedsman. I always needed a plug. <laughs> <laughs> now I can get lit. Okay, wow, they kind of, um... Adapted it right from the book. Yeah, they yeah. got this part correct. I'm shocked. Coney. Konek. 2012. Coney 2012, baby. All right, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we got a lot. I, I want to go first. You want to jump right in, ahead, baby. Man. So, this film, quote, quote, it's so obviously just a speed ran version of the show this man wanted to make. It's painful. The pacing is the worst. The cuts are terrible. Nothing interesting happens. It cuts out so much important shit and then just talks. It's not good. The acting is great. And the way that the character of Geralt is, is great. He's fantastic. It's just like the game. It's just like the fucking show, probably. He's beautifully, beautifully written. The dialogue is good. The only problem I have is it's just a speed ran version of fun and good shit this 
You know how we say this has the makings of a good movie? Yeah. This has the makings of a good show. It does. It does. I can see it. I can see this being a good show, and it is. Yeah. (laughs) You know? Um, If I can jump in. Go ahead. I'm last, so. I don't hate it, Mm -hmm. but I really don't like it. I'm just so apathetic. This film gave me nothing. At the, like, 40-minute mark, I was completely checked out. This I, I had nothing to say. This film was giving me nothing to work with. I had no insight on the characters because a lot of the commentary you guys had was, wait, isn't this A, B, and C from the game or from the show? You and know? they do this thing, which is important. But or, oh, in the book or the show, they do this. You guys were hitting me with, uh, well, in the shows. Yep. You know. The shit you do for Game of Thrones all the time. And, and Dune, when I was like, well, in the book, they do it this way, you know. Like you guys, you guys were doing what I normally do, which is I'm the lore guy. I'm the guy who can be like, oh well, you know, the reason they did it this way is because in the book X, Y, and Z. Yep. It's amazing to be on the receiving end of that because it makes me realize how much in certain adaptations you need foresight knowledge yeah. of shit from a different medium. Because this, this world that this film establishes, the Weedsman, gives you nothing. Yep. No context, just drops you right in. Which I appreciate. I appreciate in fantasy when characters talk like they're from the world they're supposed to Mm -hmm. be in. You know, and it's not Frodo going, what's Mordor, Gandalf? Oh, well, you see, Master Frodo, Mordor is where all the... And then, like, exposition dump. That's bad writing. Yep. But there's a line between characters talking like they know the world that they're in and just not explaining anything. Like, there's there's no real, like explanation for like the kingdoms or who's on whose side or who likes everybody like it's just a collection of vignette scenes of him being a hexer because he doesn't do anything (laughs) he's just there dude all the contracts that he do he never accepts any of them you never see him actually like never talks to to anybody if anything, he never even collects his rewards from any of them. If anything, it looks like he just goes out and just kills things. Yeah, yeah okay. He never fun. collects his rewards either. He never gets anything. This is where it's time to, for me to chime in since I'm last on dealer's choice. So yeah, you're right. He never actually does that. In the context of this specific movie adaptation of the Weedzer, Hexer, Manziman, and the problem here is that because it's not really clear um, why you're having him be a monster hunter in this version if he's not going to actually hunt any monsters. The first scene where he hunts a monster, he killed it off screen and drags out the corpse. And he's like, I killed it. Give me 200 bucks or whatever the fuck their money is. And then, you know, more dialogue, more dialogue, more dialogue, more dialogue. Oh, wow. Okay, here's a scene where he's going to fight a guy in the fog. And then it cuts like three times in five seconds and then it's over. And, and you that fight could have been so cool. And you don't see the monster itself and you don't see him destroy the monster itself. And the worst part is... That's not relevant to the quote-unquote story it's, of this uh, film. No, that's my next point. So why even make him a monster hunter if that's not going to be important to the story? It does not matter in this movie that he hunts monsters because you're not having him actually, A, show us the monster hunting, B, have the monster hunting be relevant to the story or relevant to what's happening on screen. It's weird how, like you were saying, the ingredients for a great story are here. We've seen that come to fruition in the books, in the games, in the other show. But they take all these really solid ingredients, and I'll give them credit. The designs, the mm-hmm. acting. The, the costuming and the acting is beautiful. The acting. The sets. The, the sets, sets. Everything about this is. It's yep. not cheap. It doesn't yeah. look cheap. Yep. I mean, Aside grand... from the CGI, but that's 2001 CGI. It's whatever. It's 2001 yeah. on a television budget, too. So, yeah. like, you know, you got to give it a soft pass on that one. It looks kind of stupid from 2021 logic. But the problem here is that the way they're handling it makes all of the muds of the world who don't know what the fuck's going on in the Witcher canon they're completely lost. Yeah. And I think that's why it got low ratings because it wasn't made for anyone except unless you've already read the books. The most hardcore of fans. Exactly. You need to have that prior knowledge. Like mm-hmm. one of the reasons that the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the extended is 11 hours long, is because you need a lot of exposition in those movies to know what's happening. And Peter Jackson yeah. has said those extended editions are for the people who have read the books. Right. And like yep. he's he's made that very clear. The theatrical cuts are for a, mo- or for a regular general audience. Mm-hmm. If you've read Lord of the Rings, the book, you should watch the extended cut because that's the version for you. Yeah, and the theatrical cuts are like what two and a half to three hours. They're long? all over two and a half hours long. They're yep. like easily almost three hours long, if not over. I think Return of the King theatrical is over three hours. I think it's it three is, hours and yeah. two minutes. Yeah, it's a they're long fucking movies, but they you are. need them to be that long in order to get all the exposition across. Yeah, this is tough because it's a two hour and ten minute film. And they only took the parts where characters talk to each other and put them in. I've never been more bored. That's really tough to get through. And it's just like, so you guys are talking about prior context. 
you guys have prior context that didn't exist when this film came out. Ian, that game, Witcher 3 came out in what, 2011? Uh, 2015. 2015. Witcher 3 came out in 2015. Jake, you watched a show from 2019. You're watching, you're, t you're engaging in media and content that came out over 10 years after this film. So when this came out, I'm pretty sure the only content or context they would have had was if you've read the book. Right. Which so, is, yeah. this is just a really bad book adaptation. It is. It's all they have to go off of is this and the books at the time. Yeah. So I don't know, like, the, it's only really going to make sense to people who have read the books already. But if you've already read the books, what's the point of watching the show if you've known the story already? And you know that usually book adaptations from 2001 aren't that good. Yeah. Jake, real quick, circling back, Fellowship of the Ring, fun fact, book adaptation from 2001. Yeah, that's the worst film of all time. Uh, <laughs> but nominated for Best Picture. Uh, no, so, yeah, out of 10, I'll go last on that, obviously, but what do you guys think? Uh, I just wanted to say one more thing, too. Sure, go ahead. For the game, specifically, the dialogue works because you're the one making the choices and interacting with the dialogue. So it feels like you are in the position of the characters. For watching a two-hour movie, it just being dialogue doesn't work because I'm fucking bored. Yeah. That's the main thing. There's a lot of dialogue in the game, but there's also things to do. In this movie, there's nothing to do. I for her out of ten, I'm gonna say two. I like I like the the acting is not bad. The the acting in this not film is very good. good. Uh, Geralt, like you guys talked about, I felt like Geralt was a character. Yeah, he was like, fantastic. For as, for as nothing as he was, I mean nothing that he did, he was a character. That scene in the tavern where he's explaining what and why he kills. Yeah. Great scene. Might be the best there's scene some in the whole good movie. action in this movie where he fights like the guards. Right before he fights, um, what did you say her name was? Renfrey? Yep, Renfrey. Renfrey, yep. Renfrey. That's a good fight scene. You know, the costume design, it doesn't feel like a cheap, like, shoestring budget fantasy film where they just went to, like, some, like, fucking cloth place and just stitch shit onto each other and it doesn't look good. Like, there's a budget behind this. I, I believe that in at least some regard. It's a TV budget, but TV budget can still I'll give you good. that. It's a TV budget, it, yes. But it's more than nothing. Is it point. is more than, yeah. And it's enough that I'm like, this does look good this does feel good like i'm not like disgusted or like just burned out by the acting the acting's good but nothing else in this works so i'm, I'm just gonna give it a two the story isn't interesting i think everything else about this movie is actually pretty phenomenal the set and like the background of this world feels like the world to me like, the swamp areas and the abandoned church area. Nothing would have been polished and pretty. Nothing was pretty in this movie. Timely and proper. The set, the costume design, Geralt's acting, and most of the acting in this movie is really, really good. The only thing I don't like is how rushed it is. Mm -hmm. Because it's supposed to be a show. I'm not going to give it a positive score, but <laughs> it's a four. Not, not Definitely not wow. a two. That's I higher than... Wow. There's a lot good here. That is higher than I thought you would go. Um, I'm leaning more towards mud with a two. I kind of agree, and I want to echo all of your points, but what's bolstering it up is those costume design elements, the scenery, the set design, except for that weird church that looked like shit. Like, I think most of what what is here is actually really well done and really well executed as far as just the production value. For 2001 with, you know, weird shit CGI, I get that. And the dragon scene, let's not even fucking get into the dragon scene. But more importantly... I'd say two, and what's keeping it at a two instead of, like, a one is probably that fucking theme song. Holy shit. That's, like, it's better than the new Witcher theme song. It's, like, the one thing they did better than the new Witcher is the theme. Because I don't even remember the new Witcher theme song, if he even has one. So. And I do want to point out that in Polish, Weedsman means Witcher. <laughs> so I'm calling it Weedsman. I, I'm looking right now at the books. Yep. And in Polish, Weedsman. Wait, the Witcher. isn't it a Polish book to begin with? Yep. Uh, yep. So it's <laughs> it, Wiedsman is correct. We're dumb for How's saying it Witcher. Pronounced? Hold on, hold on. Wiedsman. Oh, probably. But they still call him Hexer in this. Why didn't it why didn't it do I don't it? know, man. Stay consistent, damn it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I wanted to hear it. It, it does not <laughs> I've heard no. people call this movie the Hexer. I guess that's technically true, but I want to call this the Weedsman. That's the it's on screen Weedsman. title to me. So whatever. Oh. Alright, Ian. All that out of the way. Alright, I can't lie to you guys. I haven't seen this one. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. I think both of you have seen it, and I think both of you like it. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I want to watch this movie, because from a director I really like, but I haven't seen a lot of his stuff. I have no other introduction. Okay. Because all of this is just to throw you guys off. We're watching Memento. I want to watch oh, Memento. That... I've never seen Memento. Oh. I know it has my guy Joe Pants in it. 
That is my third favorite film of all time. My yeah. second favorite film of all time. I Jeez. think you guys both like it. A little bit. We were small fans of it. Mud, last week I was trying to inception it into your minds when we were talking about movies. Oh yeah, we did talk about Memento. <laughs> we did. I tried to I tried to other Nolan movie it into your mind. I haven't seen a lot of Nolan movies. I, I skipped out on a couple. Mm-hmm. And I just haven't seen a couple okay. of his older stuff. Um, hot take. I think Mud and I are going to be dead quiet for the next commentary. <laughs> Dealer's choice right now is, oh, I want to watch movies that I want, I haven't seen. Honestly? I have, new, uh, I have a new top for the best movie ever recommended. For yeah, right. Dealer's choice. Honest, the same. But honestly, uh, I've funneled a lot of shit. I'm also going to be using <laughs> movies that I want to see just in general on, on this show quite a bit. Ian, like, congrats on easily having the best film for this round. No, Weed Zoom is great. Um, <laughs> was it? Well, I think you guys both like it. It's fucking one of our top movies ever. I, I wanted to throw you off a little bit. 